Hello and welcome to Midnight Gaming, where it's always midnight. My name is Mystic Nightmare, and we are on Minecraft. Now, the last time we left off, guys, we basically started half of the, uh, the grinder on the top up here. And I decided not to bore you guys too much. I went ahead and I got a whole bunch of, um, of uh, stone bricks made, and I went ahead and just finished it off. Now, let me go ahead and show you exactly what we've done. What I've done is <clears throat> I've put a I put a nice little uh, path up here so we could get on the top and also so we can get inside it to turn it on and off. Um, if we just look on the top, the top was fairly easy, you know, just closed in, closed it in, and uh, we went ahead and I just put all of these tree. Uh, treats, dirt blocks, tree growing dirt blocks, wow, can't talk. Um, three apart in every direction, and I decided to test out, because I usually did five apart, so I decided to test out uh, the oak, and I like the look of oak when it comes down to the planks. Uh, birch is a little bit too light for my tastes, but I do like to utilize it for sticks and for, you know, charcoal and stuff like that, but when it comes down to the actual, um, the oak itself. I like the perfect look when it comes down to darkness and lightness. And oak is right there in the middle. Spruce is a little bit too dark. So if you're ever building, if I'm ever, I should say, if I'm ever building, you know, planks for wood floors and stuff, I always use the oak. Uh, and that's, I wanted to do the oak so we could do a railing all the way around um, the grinder here. So what I've actually done is I have put a walk around around the grinder and I'm gonna put an extension on top of this and I'm gonna put just a nice oak railing around it so it looks a little bit more you know a little bit more official a little bit more nice it's kind of uh, it's just better looking I think it looks more stylish and you know if you're gonna make it you might as well make it at least look good and then the inside fairly simple four pads um, I believe they're eight down and I am gonna fill in these holes right here I just use these as jumping pads to get up but what I've actually done is I've already pre-made all of the trap doors that are gonna go along down the sides here and what I like to also do is I go here here and I do this with all the way all the way around each one of the, the river rev, uh, reservoirs and I just put my water I make an infinite water source up here and then I just put the water behind these. So when it's time to go ahead and start it up, all I got to do is break these blocks. Once the blocks are broken, then I just jump down and land in the water downstairs. And then I turn around and quickly put doors on it so nothing can get out and I get rid of the water. And it usually starts spawning really quick. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I think I'm going to go down and grab... Oh, and I also put the chest right here to start out. And I'm going to need four hoppers for the kill area right here. And I'm going to just, you know, they're just going to lead into one one another. But uh, I kind of wanted to show you. Okay, so let's go back. And I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to grab the, oh, oh, and that's another thing I forgot to show you is I made a blockless, what I like to call a blockless grinder. And basically all it is is it's just like a typical grind or cobblestone grinder. Uh, you got your got your chest, you got your hopper that leads into it. But instead of blocks, regular blocks, you've got fences that hold it up. And the nice the the, the main reason you would want this, I mean they're kind of impractical when it, they're not. I shouldn't say impractical. It's just a regular mob grinder or not mob grinder. Jeez. It's a regular cobblestone grinder, but if you're on a server where they have got screwed up hoppers, and what I mean by screwed up hoppers is basically instead of the hopper instantly pulling in um, the cobblestone as soon as it's broke, it takes a full second. These cobblestone grinders do not work. Regular cobblestone grinders do not work. These, however, they do work, but you do not have a hopper underneath it. You have a signpost that the lava flows over. 
and then it creates the cobblestone. And what happens is with the normal block, if you put down a normal block, and then you throw another normal block on it, it'll hit it. See how it hits it? But with these, with the fences, if you take a normal block, it falls through the fence. See how it falls through the fence like that? And you can walk through it, you can walk into this. And it's basically like, kind of like a ghost, or a non, I call it a non-block cobblestone grinder. And it's something I thought of, I'm sure other people have done it, but I thought this up myself. If anybody else has done it, I'm not stealing your idea, I did think this up myself. So, but basically what you do is you build it like this. You don't have a hopper at the bottom, you don't have the chest here. You have, you build it so there's a water, there's, it's, you build it in a 9x9 nine nine water area. So when you pop this block, the block comes completely flying out, and it goes, falls through the fences, or it falls through the water. You know, it may get burned up in the the fire, but that's not your fault. That's the server's fault for not having a proper, you know, hopper. But you pop that, you know, that cobblestone, it falls through any one of these fences. It falls down in your 9x9 nine nine water area, and it gets funneled down to a hopper where the hopper can take the full second it needs to pull in your your cobblestone. So I decided to make that to kind of show you guys and it was fairly easy. You just make it like a regular grinder, you just do it with fences. It's simple. So yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, so as you can see I moved all of our trees upstairs so it's opened up this place quite a bit. It's also raised the island to 67 which is good. Uh, let's see what were, what else were we going to do? Oh yeah, I was going... I've made the wooden trap doors. As you can see, I've been to the nether. I have been to the nether with Scoobs. He will have the video on his channel. I don't know if I'll have it on mine. Just because the sound was so horrid. Just And halfway through, Skype was just like, You know what? I don't like you right now, so we're not going to... Yeah. Anyway, I got some gold. He was cool enough to give me some diamonds. And I say he was going to give me because I just kind of followed him the whole time. He's really good at finding... Um, he's really, really good at finding uh, uh, n nether fortresses. I mean, the guys He's a professional. He should be paid, uh, you know, to do that. And so we totally found five diamonds. Um, he really wanted a diamond sword, so I... I let him have the other, the third one. I got two diamonds out of it, which I'm totally stoked and happy about. Super, super stoked. I got some blaze rods out of it. Uh, I got a ton of glowstone. And and nightmares, midnighters, you guys, we love glowstone, don't we? That's right. I uh, got some golden horse armor. I uh, got some flint and steel. Got enough to make a hopper for the, the, the cobblestone generator. It was just, and we ended up hitting three three fortresses one of them was like two fortresses in one it was sick it was so cool and it was I just uh, I really want to put the video up but I have to check the quality and I'm hoping it's gonna be up I'm gonna be able to put it up so yeah super super cool and more than likely it's gonna go up before this one so if it is up you guys have probably already watched it so I probably sound like a complete moron right now <laughs> so we won't worry about that okay so what was I doing Oh yeah, we are almost ready to start this bad boy up. The problem is, I want to make sure that I'm completely ready downstairs here. I don't want to put the glass in above the chest downstairs quite yet, because we're going to have to walk into it uh, to get the items that fall. Um, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we're going to have to walk in it to get the items that fall. And uh, which side did I put it on? Oh, I hope this works. Yes. <clears throat> so we're going to have to put some doors in there. Uh, and we'll be able to open the doors and we'll have to kill witches and stuff with... Crap. With uh, swords and whatnot until we can get... Um, until we can get uh, the hoppers needed. to pick up any of the just regular, you know, items that fall from the mobs fall in the full 24 four blocks. And then, like I said, I've said probably a couple times already, eventually we'll get the redstone, we'll get enough redstone, we'll be able to make it a experience mob farm as well. 
and that's kind of a cool it's kind of a cool idea I think what I've got it's basically you fall or they fall I should say you press a lever blocks are pushed in by sticky pistons and the they only fall 21 instead of 24 so they don't die and once it's done you kill them with a sword or your hands the items are still sitting on the blocks and then you flip a switch all the items fall down into the hoppers below so I think it's probably a pretty good idea I'm really hoping it's gonna work out I did it a little bit different on my other sky blocks that I've done um, but I'm just slowly trying to improve it improve it improve it improve it until it gets to the point where it's just like oh crap anyway so yeah, what okay. So we got a couple of doors for downstairs when we're done. Oops, there we go. Okay, so here we go. It's better work. Otherwise, otherwise I'm gonna look really, really, really stupid. More than I usually do. Okay, that's the right length that's the right length beautiful beautimus wow where's the lag coming from seems like it's with the water interesting okay where's my door out there okay, there's my door out now we need to get rid of Those will close this off. What I want to do is I'm going to take a tip from Scoob. And I'm going to do that. That way it shows me, okay, this is one of my platform areas. In fact, I probably should move it over. So it's somewhat in the middle. Let's take a page out of Scoob's book yet again. We'll do one right here. And that way it'll it'll still produce, but you can kind of look in and see how well it's doing. Show. Actually I probably should put one here too. One here. One here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And one here. Okay, it looks good, looks good, looks good. Liking it, loving it, want more of it. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Is that side longer? Oh, yeah, that's right, okay. I knew. Sorry, talking cryptically. My code talker. Code talkers turned on. Wow, that didn't sound good. Okay, so there we go. Excited. Let's do this. I don't know why I did this. The the, <laughs> the torches. <laughs> I still got to close it off anyway. I think I'll close off all but one. 
just so we can look in there. All right, they should be popping now. And yeah, we'll close this off real quick. Okay, so let's go ahead and go down. We need to get down quickly because they're going to start popping. And if any witches come, then they can. They don't. They don't die in this fall, which is crazy because it's a 24 block fall. Actually, it's more than 24 blocks if you want to be technical about it. 24 is the 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 block above my head, so it's actually 26. And they still live through it. Oh, crap. I forgot about the doors. Oh, oh, I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. No, break. Break, 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 break. Okay, so here, here, here. Hurry, 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 hurry. And nothing, nothing starts falling. It's my luck. Just Mystic's luck. Come on. Get down here. I should be in the perfect spot right here. Where is these? Okay, that works. In fact... Okay, guys. Well, welcome back. I went ahead and logged off for a minute just to let all the mobs and everything respawn. Or reset, I should say. And as you can see, our, our, our mob grinder has actually been popping off pretty good. I've been getting quite a bit of items and stuff for it. Now, obviously, when I can get the, uh, the hoppers for it, we'll put four hoppers down in here. And... Uh, I can go ahead and put, you know, the four hoppers down in here and they'll automatically collect stuff for us and we can kind of go AFK. Um, you know, if you need to go to the bathroom or if you need to eat or whatever, it, it's nice enough to drop stuff. I get, or to, to, to collect the items for you, I get a ton of string from it, which is awesome. And then one of the benefits is a lot of people don't like it because spiders, they don't like it when spiders can actually... Um, can crawl up the walls but with this mob grinder it's kind of a it's kind of an advantage I mean it's a simple mob grinder but at the same time that's an advantage because sometimes they when they fall they don't die completely they just take a lot of damage and you can kill them by hand and at that point you get the the, the spider eyes if you're just playing around down here now, like I said before a few times we're gonna make some um, some sticky pistons up top and we're gonna go ahead and have blocks move in and we're gonna put some sticky pistons down here so when witches fall down and they don't die we can just use the sticky pistons to push blocks in and to kill the to kill the witches that way um, but for the most part I mean it's popping off it's working it's it's doing what we need it to do we're getting our items um, and that's just you know we're getting especially arrows we're getting arrows that's definitely something we need because I have a feeling being in co-ops every now and then with um, with scoobs we're gonna be going to the nether a lot and you really need you really need a lot of arrows in the nether so yeah this is definitely working and uh, we are good to go oh spider yep see now I can kill him by hand and there's a spider eye we just got a spider eye. That's simple. So this definitely is an advantage. So this bad boy is up and running. It seems like there isn't much of a benefit having those trap doors up there. I mean, it, it seems like it's kind of... They're spawning and they're coming off about the same rate. You get these little small couple second periods where they're not falling and then everything just falls like crazy. So, um, and as I was saying before, since we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to make the um, the sticky pistons up above. Ah, 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 no, 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 no. <clears throat> Did that just happen? Yes. That just happened. <laughs> well, I guess it's perfect timing, but I was fast enough to get 
I was fast enough to do the 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 slash is and spawn back to my my um, my island before I died, which is kind of an advantage because you can actually, when you do that, you can actually uh, your your stuff falls on your island, but you still die. So you lose your experience point, but your stuff falls in your island if you're fast enough to do the slash is. So, and that's the just the uh, helps you spawn back onto your island real quick. So you, all your stuff, you don't lose all your stuff. But if you don't do it quick enough, you will lose your stuff. So just a heads up on that. So yeah, there's the mob grinder. We're good to go. We got trees on top. We got a nice little nice little path we can go up and check out and see how many, you know, see how many. Uh, mobs we've got up there in there and 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 we're going to have a nice little path to walk around and and we're going to get our items like we need to get our items and and yeah so it's just it's a simple mob spawner it's not super advanced it's just a regular one that probably everybody builds so but yeah it's done we're excited we got that done and over with island level if i can type correctly is 70 so yeah we're not doing too bad that that kind of really did a big boost to our to our island level which is going to be awesome so <clears throat> everything's coming along I think it's time to start trying to get some iron ingots so we can go ahead and make another hopper for this so this will be an automatic farm and we can also extend this out um, yeah, I think everything's coming together really well, and I'm really loving this. This is awesome. Definitely awesome. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is, as an added little bonus for this video, I'm going to go ahead and do a water extension for you guys. Show you how I extend the outside of the water, uh, the water ravines up top. And, you know, if you learn something from it, cool. If you guys already do this, this is awesome. Um, I don't remember the video or the guy's name that I learned it from, but this is not my idea. I don't know whose idea it is, but I am claiming right now this is not my idea, but it is a good way to extend it if you don't want to do the type of water extension where you drop, where you go eight blocks and then you destroy the eighth block and then it drops down and goes another eight blocks. So let me go ahead and get prepared for that and I'll come back and show you guys how it works. Okay guys, welcome back. I went ahead and set up this water this water stream. And as you can see it does the normal eight right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna destroy the eighth block on both sides. Now what am I gonna also I'm also gonna do is I'm going to destroy the next one down and then I'm going to place stairs at the bottom of this. That doesn't look right. I think you actually have to hit this one too. And have so one, two, three blocks and then stairs on the third block. Then what I do is I believe it's right here I put signs right above the stairs. Let's see if the water runs the proper way here. I haven't done this in a while so I wanted to make sure. Okay, <clears throat> now you see how it goes down the eighth block right there and then it comes across. Yeah, but it actually goes underneath the sign and it butts up against these stairs right here. Once you've got that come down here and on the butt end of the sign you put water. Now like I said I'm sure some of you guys have already figured this out this is just kind of a little bit of a tutorial for anybody who hasn't figured it out or is oh crap hasn't figured this out yet or anything else so as you can see it extends the water out now you do have to go down one but you can also come back up so it's it's kind of a nice way of keeping you know keeping the water at a certain level where you only have to go down a couple of blocks then you can actually use this to extend 
the ravines, the water ravines on your mob grinders. If you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm not producing enough mobs, I want to go ahead and do that. So you extend it, and you ex you extend the water ravines. Therefore, you extend the platforms as well. And then you can actually place cross sections. So the water ravine would come out, you know, right about here. And then you would extend the platforms out as well. And then you would also make maybe halfway down the distance that you extend the water ravine, you could make cross sections of water ravines as well that connect to the main water ravines in the center right there so it's it's kind of a nice area and then let me just prove to you that it works I'm not touching anything I go down I go back up the stairs and it extends it down so you can do that now it does not work with items let me show this to you let me throw a couple of items in here whoops not the way I wanted to throw them in there crap <clears throat> Let's try that again. As you can see, they will fall down, but they sink. So it does not work with items. It only works with mobs and players. Okay? So make sure that you definitely know that and you're not gonna you're not trying to extend it for an item extension because it will not work with items so it's pretty easy simple thing to do you know everybody knows that mobs jump right so let's just go ahead and hold down the shift key I'm not pressing anything else and it still works so it's definitely something that is a great way of extending out your um, your water ravines it helps a lot. So I think... Ooh. Oh, cactus got destroyed. Crap. So I think that's pretty much it for today. We got the... You know, we got a lot done. We got the... the uh, we went over the, the mob grinder, and it's popping off. It's working really well. I basically just need to work on getting some iron. Um, I've always got my hands in the wrong freaking keys. So we went ahead and we went over that. I need to work on some iron so I can put some hoppers down in this cactus farm right here. Um, I've got the hopper underneath the mob grinder. So this is working out really, really well. And now it's, you know, it's fully sucking in the cobblestone like it's supposed to, which is awesome. I'm going to throw these stairs away because I hate cobblestone stairs. And that's pretty much it for right now. Um, anything else, I think it's not... I mean, it's basically just building out the platform and raising the iron level, uh, island level that way, completing challenges um, and getting up to the next challenges so we can get into the challenges that offer, um, that offer iron ingots. So we can do that. And eventually, I, like I said, I've said before, I think I do definitely plan on getting, uh, making a iron mob farm, which are the way that our mob grinder works. It makes it very easy to get the the villagers, so um, that should help should help out quite a bit. And uh, actually, I think. Okay, excellent. So I can now complete a challenge. And I think it's my final challenge. We've done all of these. Uh, let's go ahead and do this one. I think I've got everything for that. And that one's going to give five dirt blocks, two sand blocks. Ooh, two sand blocks and 20 vines. All right. Oh, I need sugar cane. Sixty four melon seeds, <clears throat> sixty four pumpkin seeds, and sixty four wheat seeds. Oh, whoops, do you, Mr. Mystic? You're an idiot sometimes. 
Okay. And it is complete. We are on the next set of challenges. Excellent. So let's see, we got the grinder, which will be easy. We just need to wait for it to get all the stuff from there. We got the farmer, which I actually got some carrots and potatoes from the mob spawner a little bit ago. So we will be able to do that once we start growing those things. And uh, the fishing one is just basically sitting back, grabbing a beer, watching a movie, and fishing in a little infinite pool. So that should be pretty easy to get to. Uh, the tree cutter. We've already got all the saplings for that, so we just need to grow the different saplings. So there's grinder one. The farmer should be easy. Shouldn't be easy, but it's gonna. It'll get us there. Uh, the angler, so there's three that's not too bad. Uh, the tree cutter, that's four. Cookie maker, that's not going to be easy because I need to figure out how we're going to get a bucket of milk since we accidentally killed the cow. Well, the cow killed himself. He jumped in the fire, in the lava. What an idiot. So, I don't know if I can make the cookie maker. We also have to get, um, I believe we need cocoa beans seeds for that. I'm not sure how we're going to get those. Um, island level 75. We're not quite there. I think we're at 7... What are we at? We're 71. Oh, we're so close. And just by extending out the platform, we'll get that one done pretty easily. So, and then this one, build a house that contains at least wooden, wooden door, bed, sh bed bookshelf, crafting table furnace glass block that should be fairly easy to do as well I've got all the items so we'll actually probably burn through this one pretty quick how many we need um, we gonna need six so one two three four five six yeah we won't even have to do the cookie maker we can do all of the others just by yeah that we should actually get through this pretty quickly so excellent definitely excellent excellent news uh, we're we're getting through it, and it's working out really well. So, yeah, I'm excited. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to call that an episode. Uh, you guys keep gaming. Um, make sure to do it at midnight, as always. Midnight owls. And, uh, yeah, we'll check you guys later. Thanks for all your support. Um, leave comments. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what you'd like to see. I'll see if I can do it for you. And uh, hit the like if you liked it. Don't hit the like if you didn't like it. Um, that really tells me like what type of content you guys like and what kind of content you don't like. Um, so it really helps me out just to do stuff for you guys. Um, to kind of show what you guys want to want to see and whatnot. So um, throw the comments out there. Throw the likes. You know, whatever. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you like it, you know, I'm just going to keep doing videos. Hopefully this will get bigger and bigger. Me and Scoobs are probably going to do some more co-ops. There's another little possible surprise that has to do with another game we just might end up jumping into together. I'm not going to give too much of it away, so, yeah. Hopefully Scoobs doesn't either. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I should give him a call. Anyway, yeah, we'll talk to you guys later, and see you later. Peace out. Peace out? Did I just say peace out? Really? Sorry, guys. That's not my style. Take it easy.